I am now recording. If you all could go to wherever you go to work, I'm going to get started. So hopefully you can still see my screen. Introduction to place value. So today is Thursday. That means we only have today and tomorrow to wrap up our introduction to place value unit or our lesson sequence. So let's continue. Today you're going to need your base 10 blocks, just like we talked about. Excuse me, me Sala, but yeah. um, since tomorrow is Friday, uh, I mean not Friday, after Friday we don't have no school, we, we might, can we um just have a little conversation? <laughs> yes, you and I will have a conversation after this, but for now I just need you to mute your mic so that we can keep going with the lesson, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you, sweetheart. All right, so you need your base 10 blocks, your place value mat if you have it, and a piece of paper and pencil. And those all should be in your ready packs. Our standard for the week, understand that the three digits of a three digit number represent amounts of hundreds, tens, and ones. Our I can statement, at the end of this lesson, I want each of you to be able to say, I can bundle ones to make groups of 10. And here goes our anchor chart for the day. So you all have that anchor chart um, because you have your place value met. Here goes our menu lesson. So if you look down so, at the screen, Ms. Hall is about to unshare her screen so that you could see what's in front of me. Did I get bigger? Yes. Okay, good. So if you look down, I have my one screen. Ms. Hall. Yes, sweetheart. I was about to play the value map with the hundreds, ones, and tens. Yes. Is it in the math bag or the art bag? In the math bag. If you don't have it, that's okay. I just need you to pay attention to uh, the mini lesson, okay? So for, just for a second, just, just watch and learn, okay? They want us. Yep, those. Okay, so let's look down. I have poured out a bunch of units or ones. Now, I don't know how many I pulled out. I can make an estimate and say that it's about 30, but I don't know. So what I need to do is count my ones and bundle them in order to see how many I have. So I'm gonna transform these little, little guys, these units into rods. Can everybody see? All right, so watch me and watch me transform my ones into Tens. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Move those out the way. Bring in a rod. Once I got to ten, I replaced those units with a rod. Next. Let's keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Replace them with a rod. Next, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Replace them with a rod. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Replace them with a rod. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Replace it with a rod. Almost done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Replace it with a rod. And then I have one, two left. So here are, hopefully you all can see them the right way. Here are our ten and one. How many tens we have? We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So my final number is Can 
Miss Hall, Caden is not able to hear you if you can hear him. Okay, I can hear him. I can hear you all. Can you hear me? He can Ms. hear Hall? you a little. It's, it's, it's fading. Okay. Miss Hall, yeah. it might be a little noisy because they cleaned the carpet. They cleaned the carpet, so it might okay. be a little too noisy. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute you then. So I, so Ms. Hall won't be able to hear Oh, our final number here was 62. I have six tens, one, two, or I'm sorry, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and two ones, one, two. My final number is 62. Now, let's move on a little bit. I already, you already know how to bundle your ones and turn them into tens. Let's see if you can turn your tens into hundreds. So, Miss Hall is just going to throw out some random, a random amount of blocks, okay? A random amount of blocks. I have my. Okay. Hundreds, and I have my tens. Miss Hall, I'm, I'm going back upstairs. Okay. Just, That's where the carpet is. I'm going to put more light at, so I'm going back upstairs. Okay, that's fine. So now, Miss Hall is going to count my ones, transform the ones into tens, then I'm going to count my tens and transform my tens into hundreds. You always start counting with your ones, whether you're just counting or adding. Always start with your ones. So watch me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Transform into a uh -oh. transform into a ten. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. It's all form into a ten. It's all. I want to keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Transform into a 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Stop. Transform into a 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Stop. Transform into a 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Transform into a ten. And now I only have two units or two ones left. Now I'm going to move over to my tens. It looks like I have way more tens than I started with because that because I was transforming them. So now when we count out ten rods or ten tens. We're going to transform them into hundreds. Hi, Adriana. Welcome to class. All right, so we're going to keep going. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I need to stop and transform these rods. Uh oh, uh oh. Transform these rods into a hundred. Once I get to 10, I transform the rods into 100. Boom. So now, let's see how many things I have. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Perfect. I don't have more than 10. So my I'm number, back. I have 100. So I'm going to write a 1 in the hundreds place. 100. 50, 60, 70. Seven tens and two ones. So my final number is 176. Now, if you have your blocks in front of you, what I need you to do is dig your hand in the bag and pull out a bunch of ones. I don't want you to count them out. I want you to just pull out a random number. Oh, let's go back to our presentation. Because this is your assignment for the day. 
you're going to dig into your bag of one, pull out a random amount. Random means a number that you don't know. Pull out a random amount, and then I want you to count your ones and bundle them. If you could lower, everybody who has their camera, so well, that means talk. It does, don't it. Really well. That would be really helpful. So lower your camera. <laughs> Antonio, I need to. That's the thing. I know. Mom, pick this up, my mom. Adriana, do you have your blocks out? Do you have your blocks out? Please? Okay, perfect. Okay, so what I need you to do is dig into your bag of ones, your unit, the ones that look like this, Dig into your bag and pull out a random number of them. So you can pour them out like this. And then I need you to count them and transform them into ones. If you can show that on your screen, that'll help Miss Hall see what you're doing. Okay? Okay. I like your hair. You're welcome, sweetie. Miss Hall's trying to get some braids soon. I can't hear you. You have to turn your mic on. Do you see the little microphone picture? It should be at the top of your screen. It's a picture of a microphone. All you have to do is click that. And I'll be able to hear you. Can you hear me now? What'd you say? Yeah, I can hear you now, Adriana. Can you show me, can you show me your blocks, please? I need you to flip the camera so that I can see. Are you on a laptop, sweetheart? Adriana, are you on a laptop? Yeah. Okay. Bend the laptop down a little bit so that I can see what's on the floor. Okay. Or whatever you're using. There you go. Okay, now um, show me how you're doing the activity. Good job, Sandra. Now start start counting your ones and bundling. We have about five minutes left, and then I'm going to leave you all to do this activity on your own. One time. If you are watching this lesson, you all also can do this activity to practice bundling. There is an activity on Seesaw for you to do, and that will conclude our math lesson. I hope this was helpful.